Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your mid-August love and relationship uh, readings for the month of August 2024. I may have already said that, but... <laughs> um, and how I like to do these is we go through each of the four elements and then we look at the elemental energy for this uh, someone who is single and then also look for those who are in relationships the couples and I'm looking at doing some things different for September so uh, let me know in the comments if you would like me to change some things or if you like it the way it is but I think I'm gonna divide the videos up so that each video is for each element versus doing everything in one but I haven't quite decided on that yet but if you are have a theory or a thought or opinion suggestion let me know in the comments below otherwise we'll get started we'll start in the cycle of the zodiac which would be fire fire covers aries leo and sagittarius and to start with we're going to start with fire singles and we'll look at the chakra energy of where the fire singles are and then we'll look at some messages from the tarot so fire your fire singles be specific here uh, your chakra energy is number eight it's not the play the energy I'm getting off of this is just learning ooh, it's really intense learning how to have fun learning how to relax learning how to or reminding yourself that life isn't so serious but we'll take a peek here in the book because I'm still working on getting more familiar with this but I want to make sure that I give you the best information we can so let's see if we can get that to refocus in there um, <laughs> We have planet of Mercury is the association here. So things are moving pretty quick, but it's definitely saying that it's time to enjoy yourself a little bit. And we're working with the uh, sacral chakra. So this is your second chakra. Mythologically associated with the Roman god Mercury, the winged footed messenger of the gods and Buddha in Eastern traditions. Mercury has wisdom that transcends the boundaries of the mundane world and can definitely juggle the extremes of worldly duality. Known for auspicious qualities, Mercury's symbol is nature, symbolic nature, is youthful, intelligent, analytical, progressive, inventive, risk-taking, quick-witted, and communicative. And key words are innovative, thinking, powerful ideas, versatility, communication, adventurous, wit, playful, recreation, amusement, and travel. Fire singles. <laughs> You're in the sacral chakra the sacral chakra is the first chakra where if you're going from like a life aspect this is where you first start to understand the outside world pleasure versus pain uh, joy versus sadness but this is kind of that emotional seat and this is where you also start to look at the generation of future it's not just you which is your root chakra this one is saying there's this kind of call to uh, procreate so earth singles if you're looking for someone this would be they're saying that this is kind of where your focus is going to be coming in but it's saying don't focus on it in the fact of must find partner today it's saying be open to the situation but have fun as you're going through life it's not all serious it's not all um, harshness and oh I have to do this exact book style relationship because just FYI there's a reason they're in the books and not in real life because those relationships are good to kind of give us an idea how things work but they're, <laughs> they're not reality in most cases so find what works for you but this they're saying to be open to the situations that are coming in but definitely have fun enjoy life um, fire you have a natural charm and a natural wit let that shine forth fire singles so we have the eight of earth skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school so you might end up being in a situation where there's some education going on it doesn't mean you have to go and sit between a, <laughs> a class lecture or something when they talk about going back to school it could be something as simple as you happen to be in a class for work or you're taking an artistic class after after hours but fire singles this is tying into that playful nature and allow your wit and your charm to shine forth during these situations you also have the king of earth <laughs> fire singles this is so much about the hearth the home stay grounded 
Don't let the passion of your nature get too aggressive, but stay focused and grounded on life, having fun, enjoying things. It doesn't matter what's going on, there's always a reason to smile somewhere. Because you have the king of earth, generous, professional, responsible, practical, successful time, confidently accepting opportunities, and the Midas touch. Uh, fire singles, you've got these, this really, <laughs> basically, uh, Mercury is on your side, it's moving things forward, but it's also saying your ability to communicate these fun-loving, more relaxed, joyful uh, energies are going to be what gets people to be looking in your direction. So fire singles, definitely be open to new things. Even if you're not looking for a romantic relationship, they're saying there could be the possibility of a new friendship coming in. Um, most of the time when I do these, it's focused on like love relationships, but they're saying for you, Fire, this is saying it uh, could be a couple of different kinds of relationships, but definitely be open to the uh, new energy that's coming in. So, Fire in couples, we have number 43, Peace. What I'm getting from this is find your inner peace. Uh, we'll look up the book in a second, but finding your inner peace, finding your inner balance looking inside and just finding that point of stillness is what I'm hearing. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing by the fact that there's a moon here in the background that we're dealing with some lunar energy, possibly a divine feminine aspect coming in. But let's take a peek. Fire couples, you are in the crown chakra. And the planetary link is the moon. So. <laughs> Uh, Chandra, the Hindu god of the moon, who has a halo of a crescent moon, riding a reindeer, a symbol of unconditional love. It is decorated with bells to ring the blissful sound of peace and liberation. Linked with higher consciousness, he wears pearl anklets, illustrating the moon's link to this gemstone. The pearl, a sign of the depth of the sea and the soul of wisdom. Nurturing, peace, contentment, inner reflection diving into memories, creative imagination, acting to, with a sensitivity to others' emotions. Fire couples, when you are working with the moon, you're working with very heavy water-based energy. That can be a little intense for fire. Fire tends to be very passionate, which or angry either. That's kind of their, <laughs> their realm of emotion. But what this is saying is there's a sense, more sensitive aspect to you. And it is fun going inside and discovering those sensitive parts. So whether you're the fire in the couple or your partner is, this is really saying look for those peaceful qualities, those more gentle qualities. It's not always the raging flames that are coming up. It's at times it's those quiet, slow burn, those banked fire, if you've built fires, the banked fire where it's just putting off heat, it's not doing anything, it's just warm, it's comforting. And when you tap into that level of peace, especially when you tap into your crown chakra, that connects you to God Source Divine. So this is not just a physical peace. They're actually saying tap into that connection you have to God Source Divine, however you see divinity, and bring that in and help that guide your balance and your movements with your partner. You have the Ten of Fire, so there's some things that are showing that they're completed doesn't mean you're done but this one part is too much work accepting help from others life is out of balance stress related health concerns the ten of fire with this aspect is saying when you tap into that peaceful nature it takes that shoulder the burden that you carry and they're saying that you want to do everything for everybody because that's just how you are but that's not peaceful that's not lunar energy that's not tapping into the sensitivity and the creativity that fire is known for. This is saying that it's okay to set down the, the stress. You don't need it. It's okay to set down the frustration. Just let it go. When you're finding that inner balance, when you're connecting into God's source divine, you're connecting with your partner, that, that aspect, you don't really need it anymore. They're also saying, I haven't even looked at this next card yet, but they're also saying that when you connect in, the outside world is no longer important when you're with your partner. Allow your partner to be your peace. Be your peace 
for your partner. There's a balance here where you can go to that person, get it off your chest, and know that they still care about you. They can come to you and get things out of their system, and you still care for them. And that's the balance that they're talking about here. We also have the Three of Earth, the power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, and a team player. When you come together in a partnership, especially a romantic one, you're no longer two individuals. In the biblical terms, two becomes one. In a spiritual term, your auras start to do this as you are with each other. And eventually they intertwine. Um, there's uh, hand fasting in the pagan traditions. There's also a concept that is being tossed around a little bit by, called heart bonding or binding. And that's the same thing as you are not just two individuals in a relationship. Your peace is with your partner and your partnership with is how you're going to grow your peace further. So definitely take the time to do a date night. And the, do try to do one a week if you can, if your schedules allow for it. But if not, at least do one in the next 30 day, 28 days, next lunar cycle. Because the moon blesses with peace and tranquility. Don't get me wrong, the moon can stir up the <laughs> tides as well. But the, the, in this aspect, it's definitely about finding that peace and comfort in your partner. So let's take a quick journey over to our Earth brethren. There we go. So Earth, starting off with Earth singles, Earth covers the zodiac of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So we, and I've linked in the description a um, natal chart, which is through Llewellyn. If you're interested, it's not a sponsorship or anything, um, but it's a really good way to get your zodiac um, chart, the circle, the houses, and all the planets and everything. And then the one I've linked has comes with a 10 to 12, 10 to 20 page, good grief, uh, description of what is there, your elemental alignments, earth, air, fire, water, which is your highest two, your lowest two, what does that actually mean? <laughs> and then it goes through and breaks down what each of those elements mean in the different houses. It's really affordable, which is why I like it. And I'm always, every time I go back and reread my stuff, it's amazing how much detail is in there because it will describe you in a way you didn't expect, but it's gonna hit nail on the head on almost everything. It's it's <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Anyway, back to Earth singles. We have number 38, Unity. Uh, I'm seeing with this one, just from a balance perspective, is this is the unity of the masculine and the feminine energies within you. It's not, it's not saying any of the new power words that I'm not gonna even mention on here, it's not talking about that. It's talking about the fact that we all carry a masculine and a feminine energy, but when it's out of balance, that's when you get your aggression. That's what you get your um, super um, emotional or kind of manipulative. There's When things are out of balance, it enhances the negative of the dominant energy. When they're in balance, then it's you're going to notice that things tend to be a little bit quieter up top. Not always, but usually is the case. Let's see what our little book here has to say. We are in the third eye chakra, which is right, right here, right between our eyeballs. And we have the deity is, oh goodness, Ard, Ard Hanavar Shiva, Shavara. It is in the front of Mount Kalisha. This is half Shiva, male solar, and half Shakti, female lunar. Deity standing in divine unity being as one, the perfect balance of opposites dissolving duality. The trident symbol symbolizes three aspects of the birth, creation, life preservation, and death or rebirth. The lotus represents purity of mind and the beauty of the and the unity of existence. When you are working with the powers, I haven't got to the keywords yet, but when you work with the powers of Shakti and Shiva, when they are bonded, this is a very powerful time of creation. It's also a very powerful time of realization. So earth singles, if you've been kind of putting off doing some of those meditations or maybe you didn't want to start journaling, they're kind of saying this is the time to start investing in yourself because the powers that be are saying you are in a position to be kind of a shining beacon to others. You might draw others to you in a really in a romantic sense or it could be just a friendship thing but they're definitely saying that when you find your balance 
everyone's going to notice because you're going to stand out from the crowd, so to speak. Um, keywords, unity, wholeness, integration, balance, developing, abilities to see with your third eye, uh, being your authentic self, making the right decisions. And in today's culture, finding your authentic self has been confused with how I feel in the moment. That's that's totally insane. And I mean that in <laughs> all the positivity I can. When you are looking to discover your true self, it is going to show up for you and radiate in such a quiet stillness that you didn't realize there was another way to be. It's not something you have to convince another person of. It's not something that you have to uh, tell them about. When you know who you are at your core, when you become balanced in that unity, it doesn't really matter what other people think. And you don't have to tell them about it. And honestly, when you can come to that realization of loving and caring healthy for yourself, you're only going to be around, for the most part, people who are going to be supportive of that. You're not going to get the hostility and the volatility because that's outside of the vibration that you are carrying in the moment. So, the three of water, a celebration, a wedding, graduation, birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Earth, <laughs> I don't know why this just ran through my head, but you are very likely going to be, especially Earth singles, in a bridesmaid, bride, uh, groomsman type situation. You might be the best man or the uh, maid of honor. They're really just saying that there's going to be a lot of happiness and joy coming in. And that's why making sure that you know where you're at in life. And only you can tell you that. I can't tell you that. Someone else can't tell you that. The cards can't tell you that. That's you. That's between you and the divine. But when you can connect into that, you just feel better about life. And the three of water in this aspect is saying there's a lot of joy to be had. And like I said, they keep referencing that there's this um, bridesmaid, groomsman thing going on that you're going to be involved in. So who knows? You might meet that next person in that situation. But it's definitely uh, reminding you to have fun, enjoy life, and don't worry so much about what other people think. I don't know why they keep repeating that, but that's what I'm hearing. So... <laughs> Page of Earth is your second card. Scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. Good news in financial matters. We're doing a relationship reading. Um, wanting something more challenging and a new area of study. Your area of study is yourself. The only way you can know how to exist to your fullest extent is to know the person that lives between your ears. Not what social media says, not what the news says, not what your mom says, not what your dad says. They're saying the only way for you to understand you is to study you. Have fun with this. This is not a serious, I must sit down and scribble down every thought that I now. It's meditation, it's looking at your interests, it's going out in nature, Sometimes it's dreams, sometimes it's ahas, and the best part about this Earth Singles is there are times where you will have a conversation with someone about something completely benign, has nothing to do with personal work, spirituality, relationships, and you're going to hit an aha moment from something that they said. They're not going to realize it. You are. And it's going to hit, it's just going to gobsmack you. You're not going to have a clue how that fit into life, but it's going to be that piece that you needed to hear so be open to that kind of stuff in the next month um, our earth singles earth couples gotta check you guys out here real quick we have number 32 healing when we have the energy of healing we have this um, past trauma that is being brought to the surface gently to be worked through and relieved um, the energy of healing is unique because everyone thinks, oh, it has to be something now. Sometimes it could be a past life. It could be something from childhood. They're saying that this is something that you and your partner are going to be able to heal together. And it's not like relationship ending. It's more building trust and connection with each other. They're showing me images. And I'm trying to put words to the images. Sorry. <laughs> we have number 32, which is the fifth chakra. This is the throat chakra so this is definitely a communication thing uh, your deity is Don Wantari 
and that is considered to be the physician to the gods. We're working with some Archangel Raphael men, uh, energy here too. He is best known for bringing forth the Ayurvedic medicine as one of the world's oldest healing systems and for his ability to perform surgery and miraculously cure, cure diseases. Key words, health conscious, finding cures to mental, emotional, or physical ills, working on healing communication and healthy transformations. Earth couples, they're saying that this is more of a go back in your history and kind of whatever's coming up in the moment, don't go digging for things. Uh, that's what's ready to be released and healed. And a lot of the times the healing comes through forgiveness. And that's the energy that they're bringing forward right now is if there's something, a grudge, something that happened to you when you were younger, something that someone else did years ago that it, you just can't seem to let it go. And every time you think about it, it causes you distress of some form, anger, frustration, whatever it is. And if it is, especially if it's affecting the relationship, it's time to really examine that. This many years later, does that person even care anymore? And if the answer is no, <laughs> then it's just kind of your thing. And I hate to be blunt about that, but this one's on you. Uh, but also it's saying, if it's still bothering you and it's been this many years later or however long ago, it's time to forgive that and release it. Working with Archangel Raphael, working with um, this dude here, is a good way to help process and release that healing. Bring in Archangel Gabriel as well, because her nature is emotions, water. Um, and so work with those kind of energies to help bring healing to a situation. And by healing, it's forgiving. And when you work through that forgiveness process, it's not just saying, okay, I forgive that person. No, you don't. <laughs> you have to find the forgiveness within and when it happens it's going to feel release it may not feel like rainbows and butterflies but it's going to be a burden has been lifted and you feel better and sometimes that's all you can ask for but they're saying it's not going to be they're not saying it's traumatic it's more something what's being brought forward in this time like something you're thinking about right now this is the time to let that go work through the process of forgiveness and heal the situation the number 21 in the major arcana, so these are huge life lessons, is the world with Archangel Michael, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. We will go through processes of healing. We go through processes of releasing. We go through processes of forgiveness. Why? A, you don't need to carry all that crap with you, but B, to process, to grow, and to become a more spiritual person you have to let go of those things. You have to process them out. Uh, you can't carry the karma of the past forward if you're moving up a hill because it's just a lot of weight you don't need. Processing that stuff through, it doesn't have to be big life events. Sometimes it's something little. But even taking that much burden off helps raise your vibration. Uh, your second one is the night of air, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Events that occur with speed, time, Take time to carefully review options and creative solutions. I gave you a couple of ideas on how to work through some of this, but that is by far not the limit. Earth, going forward, it is definitely, you've got some great healing ahead. It's Then they're saying have fun with it. Don't be, don't let it get you down. This is not meant to be uh, Earth couples, uh, miserable time. It's saying, I hate it when they do this. <laughs> They're, they're saying this is the acknowledgement that you've been going through some stuff. They are here. They want to support you. They want to help you. And the only way for that to happen is for you to actually take off the blinders, look at the situation, offer the forgiveness that is being requested. And when you do, you forgive, you let it go, which allows you to forget. You won't, for, you won't forget the lesson. The lesson is different. But you release the emotional attachment to it. So... It's definitely, um, they're saying it's support. They're not offering criticism. They're not offering critique. That's not what they're here to do. They want to give you support. We hear you. We know. We want to help. So, sorry, that was a little dark and a little intense there, but there's also, they're bringing in the healing energy saying that it's time to, it's time for you to understand you want it to heal. That's why this message came forward. So, um, okay, with that, we'll move over to air. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> sorry, when they come through a little intense like that, it tends to um, throw me off for a second. Anyway, so air singles. Air is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And for our air singles, let's see where the chakra is, energy is for our air singles. We have right action number 19. I'm getting some very triple-faced uh, goddess energy here. So this is a maiden mother crone. This could be saying where you are at in life that there's some things that you're, you know the right action. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Now it's a matter of are you willing to do it, do it or not. So <laughs> we have the name of your deity is uh, Gayatri Ma, this goddess of the phys... In the, the, excuse me. This goddess is the physical form of the Gayatri Mantra that bears her name, which dates back to the Rig Veda. She symbolizes the feminine power of strength, compassion, kindness, healing, knowledge, and purity. She is said to preside over Homa, the sacred fire, and to have given the four Vedas to humanity. And we are working with the um, third chakra. This is your heart, or your solar plexus chakra. Not heart, good grief. Uh, and we have our keywords are truth, purity, being real, activating your will, harnessing the senses, your sense of negative and shadow acceptance, dharma, that's kind of cool, uh, and acting according to duty. When you tap into your spiritual life, earth, or water, air, good grief, air singles, you start to understand that it's not all going to be, oh, if I just meditate, everything's great. No. Um... This is saying there's action to be taken, and when you are connected into God's Source Divine, when you work with your guides and your um, angels, you kind of just know the next step that it's, you're supposed to take. Uh, whereas karma is a spiritual pattern, dharma is more of a physical, and that's a very, very loose interpretation. Do not <laughs> come, don't come at me. Uh, but when we work in those aspects, you're looking at things from a broader perspective. You are acknowledging that there's a past. You're looking in the now, and you're also casting your attention to the future when you do that you start to see that there's patterns and cycles which this is the education and knowledge and wisdom aspect of air that is <laughs> really up your alley and when you start to look at things from that broader perspective you kind of see okay well that is going to take me that direction don't want to do that this is the path that's better this is the right action and that's what this particular type of deity is bringing forward is the correct motions for you they're not saying that you're going to find a relationship or you're not what is right for you that is what that's kind of what they're wanting to bring forward is when you look at your life in this moment would having a partner be a good thing or not and are you willing to have a partner at this point that's what they're asking you is this what is the best choice for your life you have the queen of fire with confident warm intelligent and graceful stretching your wings to fly don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity this may not be the best time to go hunting a partner, but it's also saying that this is a good time for you to explore your creativity, explore your passions. What is it that really just lights you up? There are people, I know, when you start talking legal stuff like uh, CFRs or um, state codes, and you can see their eyes light up like, oh yeah, it's a little weird, but you, I've seen those people. You also find people when you start talking about painting, watercolor versus oil or um, carving or needlework find the thing that triggers your passion the queen of fire is saying and i don't know why they're saying this girl you got this you love to create really bury yourself to, you know open yourself to that creativity and let it shine it might be the next best thing it could be just some a good way to pass some time but really tap into that this coming month you also have the three of water a celebration, wedding, graduation, birth announcement, and have more fun. The dolphins in this particular card are definitely calling you to enjoy life more. The right action is may not always be the one that feels the best in the moment, but over time you're going to realize that those are the best choices. And um, air singles, what you're moving towards is enjoying life, having fun. When you are tapping into creativity, <laughs> I don't know why they keep bringing this up. Go to a painting class, like one of those that they do at like library basements or something, where y'all show up and you're you know having fun, you're laughing and you're joking, 
and no one's got any skills it's just more of like okay so this is what we're painting put a picture up and they kind of teach you the old bob ross style where oh just you know tap 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 brush 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 have fun with it explore those avenues and really enjoy start to enjoy life but and they're saying that by doing this it'll help you understand what is the best course of action because you're distracting yourself from the analytical part of your brain so uh air couples let's see where our bonded air is we have i love it when the deck decides to play games let's try this again because <laughs> it literally just gave me the exact same card and i'm thoroughly shuffling these decks so we have letting it go looks a little angry there are couples but they're saying that this is a time to let go of things in the past if it's an old relationship that for some reason won't disappear it's time to let it go it's not it's it, basically they're saying it's interfering with what's going on in the moment so air couples there's there's some things in the past that are coming up is what I'm hearing so let's take a peek we have the deity of Arudra often shown as an old man with white hair and long white beard Shiva Rudra in most ancient eras eras of Indian mythology was known simply as just Rudra is the oldest of the three incarnations of Shiva Rudra shown on this card destroys that which has become corrupt dishonest or dysfunctional this clears the way for new creations to replace it linked with the fear of change death destruction of ego crying this God can be very frightening mighty of the mightiest he can remove anger and help us understand how our karma has consequences for us and others so we're talking with some big energy coming moving around here for air couples uh, decay damage fear the need to change purposeful destruction beneficial endings and release it'll be interesting to see what the tarot says because what i'm getting is my uh the images I'm sh they're showing me is the tower there's a time of purging going on for our air couples and that's not with each other it's purging the past it's purging it's purging addiction it's purging obsession work uh, ignoring your partner somebody from the past that for some reason just keeps rolling around in your head time to let those things go there were lessons there's gonna be good memories that's not what they're talking about but it's this like almost addictive aspect to these things that are past that it's time to go and if you're a workaholic Rudra at this point is what I'm hearing is it's time to stop that we get it you're trying to take care of your family but you don't have to do it at 60 hour work weeks so <laughs> your six of fire is victory good news is on its way public recognition or rewards this could be the time to ask for that promotion as well for the air couples because you've been putting in a lot of time effort and energy outside of the relationship and the relationship's not suffering but it's stagnant <laughs> that's what I'm hearing so seeking that promotion asking for the pay raise whatever it is that may allow you to refocus your attention because work is just one part of our life but when you're with a partner why are you focusing on work so much I mean make a good life for yourself but have a life <laughs> uh, we have the nine of water your wishes come true concerns fade away and a love of life let the past go let the obsession with whatever it is that's in the way of the relationship go the addiction to work or whatever it is this is really a time for our air couples to take a look at the things that are coming outside into the relationship how can we fix this how can we adjust this and how can we move things forward it's not saying that there's anything negative with each other they're wanting to make that really clear right now it's not each other it's not you or the partner it is outside influences that are being let to affect and so they're wanting just to let you know that there's this is a good time to reflect um, we have changing of seasons going on if you have kids are going back to school so it gives you a little bit of more time to think about things this is definitely a time to reassess and readjust so let's hop over to our water singles water covers the zodiac of cancer scorpio and pisces so water singles where are we at in our chakras we are in intuition this is a busy card i hope it shows up good uh, almost 
And with intuition, this is about trusting your gut instincts, water singles. It's also about knowing without knowing. Uh, clairsentience type energy is what I'm hearing. So let's take a peek at... We are in the third eye chakra. Not too surprising there with intuition. And the deity here is Mother Earth. So this is some Gaia energy. This is some grounding energy. Oh, Gaia's face is right up on the top there. Um, all of life springs from her womb. She effort effortlessly pours love into everything through the gifts of nature that only the unselfish mother can provide. From the roots of the tree and to the tips of the fruiting branches, she offers universal nourishment to everyone. Through her gifts, life is sustained and the journey of awakening flows into the compassionate ocean of love. Developing, trusting, and using intuition, seeing or sensing beyond logic, opening your third eye, empathy, reflecting the truth. I don't know why I'm hearing this. Um, water singles. Eating purple food. I don't know what that is all about. <laughs> Other than the third eye is usually associated with uh, violet or purple of some form. So now it's like, that was kind of a loud statement they made. So something purple, eat purple stuff every day, at least one thing purple. Um, focus on meditation and growth as we're going forward here. And let's see, we have the two of water, a relationship that comes to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive re resolution of a conflict, water singles. They're also saying if you are ready for a relationship, or let me rephrase that, if your soul is ready for a relationship, the two of water saying this is going to open some doors for you this upcoming month. Is it saying you're going to find the one this immediately? Who knows? I don't. You really you don't know either. Um, God source divine does, and your higher self does. So working with this meditation, that intuition, that guidance system that we have, is what's coming forward. You also have the six of air. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. And taking a trip can be meditation, it can be reading a book, it could be going on vacation somewhere you didn't expect. I'm hearing cruises possibly, you know, horses in a boat, so that could be too. But this is really saying, follow your inner guidance. Work with developing your third eye. And it's an interesting experience when you really start to meditate and you release and let your energy come up through your chakras. Because you're not, you'll notice some tingling, you'll notice some sensation as you work through them, but this little guy right here has an, a physical organ attached to it, and that's your pineal gland. <laughs> so when you talk about de decalcifying the pineal, that's the area they're talking about. So water singles, they're saying that as you're starting to develop this, pay attention to your third eye. Your third eye could be the thing that wakes you up to a relationship that m <laughs> may have been standing there waiting for you, tapping its foot, kind of like, what are you waiting for? because you have been so focused on something else, not another person, just something else, and you're not even noticing it. So water singles, there's a lot going on right now as far as relationship energy coming in for you, um, which is kind of, kind of is a thing with water. They either are feast or famine. Um, but some past issues that you have been going through for water singles, um, they're resolving, whether that's working too much, whether that is some family stuff that you were taking care of, um, personal work that you were doing, whatever is going on there, they're saying that that is coming to a close and it's releasing you from some heavier karma. And so some things are moving better. And they're definitely saying that if you are ready or open for a relationship, be open to the experience. That's all, they're, all they'll say further. Uh, we have for water couples, number 33, dreams. And I'm not seeing, th it might be third eye, but I'm not seeing that. This is more paying attention to the messages that are coming in. There's always signs, symbols, and omens all around us. There was, there's entire texts, bo textbooks, and I will use that term because I have a few of them, and they are like that thick of signs and symbols and or uh, omens they're saying that that is something to be paying attention to for our water couples we have the deity is Swapnashwari and this popular goddess whom you can talk with in your dreams is believed to bring answers to your questions while you sleep tantric rituals and prayers are said to her before falling asleep with the hope that her beautiful form will appear and she will guide you to see your future or in the directions that are best for you to take. 
and our keywords here are remembering or interpreting dreams, learning about yourself through dreams, having lucid or intuitive dreams, understanding the language of the subconscious. Carl Jung actually has an entire book on man and his symbols uh, talking about dreams and subconscious, and I believe Joseph Campbell did a book called Man and His Myths or something along those lines. Excellent reads. I do not remember the exact titles. It's been too many years since I read them. Um, but keep a journal next to your bed. And when you first come to awareness, pick up pen, put pen to paper, and write. Whatever's c coming forward, whatever dream it is that you have, because when you get out of bed, dream's gone. Guaranteed. And if you're doing it on pen to paper, you're, bought, you're picking up through your handwriting subtle nuances in the emotions coming through the dream as well, which can be very important in interpreting. Uh, so really start to focus on the dream world and if a dream occurs multiple nights in a row, there's generally messages coming in from your guides, so pay attention to that. Um, and a simple way to interact in your dreams, well, you may not remember them consciously when you wake up, but when you go to bed and you're laying down and you're just at that point where you can feel yourself starting to slip into a dream world, set the intention at that moment to have a lesson, to receive a message, to connect in to a deity to connect in with your guides um, that way when you go under your brain is already set to have the experience to uh, be open to the message um, just some things to think about we have the nine of water your wishes come true concerns fading away and a love of life they're saying that the messages that are coming in are helping you process negativity helping you process out the things that no longer serve you so water couples this is a good time and as I talk about Tantra, it's not so much about amorous, although that can be very beneficial in this situation too. They're talking about an understanding of yourself and the senses that you were, are born with. Your physical five senses and then all of the rest of them that come online as we grow up <laughs> and are taught better. Uh, so you've got that kind of energy coming up. You have the 10 with the wheel and Archangel Michael, a positive change situation moving forward. Fortune is on your side. Everything is a cycle the wheel do, 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 do. Um, everything's a cycle everything is a process everything goes everyone goes through ups and downs water couples they're saying this is a really good strong time for you things are moving into a positive state things are moving up it's definitely a period of releasing but also getting the messages as to how to move forward in the healthiest way possible with the <laughs> the most fun the most amorous pleasure as well as just knowing and being with the partner that you have connecting in at a spiritual level and bonding to that person in a very deep way heart to heart mind to mind being able to just kind of know what the other person's thinking without actually having to talk to them there is a strong connection that's being offered to our water couples it's offered to everybody but right now the water couples are the ones that are being said you should work on this. This will be fun for you. So with that, we'll wrap up our video here. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video uh, in the comments. Let me know what you think. And like I said, I'm going to look at doing some changes uh, for this particular reading in September. Um, not sure how that's going to look yet, but keep your eyes open for that because there could be some changes coming. With that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your month. Um, if you're single, enjoy your time. If you're in a relationship, enjoy your partner. Just have a lot of fun this next month.